What's going on? We are at State Game Lands number 316, and uh, we're going to go check out Corby Pond. Now, there's a history behind Corby Pond, correct? I'm here with yes. Forest and Streams. And Corby Pond is tied to a robbery? No, uh, it was a uh, something to do with, an own, I believe, an owner of a, uh, I don't know if it was a flight school or if it was something to do with an airport. And I think he was running drugs. That's it. Yeah, drug yeah. runner. Yeah. Drug runner, but I don't remember the details. So I guess he owned the property, owned the pond, and um, it got seized. And now it's Game Lens, or part of Game Lens. got added into Game Lens. So the pond should be that way, you think. The road goes that way, but I think we're going to go that way. Um, I already seen a hawk fly over and uh, maybe a couple eagles, so we might see some stuff. So uh, stay tuned. Well, didn't record the hike back because it was all road hike. Actually, we wound up did taking that. Wound up did take it. That made no sense. I'm going to cut that. We did take that road uh, to the right, actually wraps around, brings you back to the, the water. And here we are. This is Corby Pond. There is a, a, the road brings you straight up to it. And it looks like there's a parking here. And you could hand launch a kayak from this. This is pretty nice. Decent size little body of water. A couple of islands. A couple, yeah, there's a couple of scrub islands out there. And it looks like it might go around the corner a little bit. This is really nice. I'm going to take a walk over here to this little bridge and take a look at the spillway. There's a few people. There's a like a community out here on the other side that, that we drove past. And uh, some people are out here in their quads. There's some snowmobile trails through here and everything. So, um, well, at least some snowmobile tracks. On it. There's actual trails, but there's this little road. But yeah, I'm going to take a walk over to this pond or this uh, spillway and see what's over there. There's a giant squirrel's nest over there. On that tree, like out there, right there, right there somewhere. So we've made it to the back side of the pond. You can see out there's the spillway. So not real, real big. Maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 acres, I'd say. But we still got a little sunlight left. Sky is still blue, blue, blue. Gorgeous day. <laughs> That's not a mountain lion in a tree. Yeah, it's been a... Uh, Road hike all the way around, like this. Slushy snow, and in some bare spots. They're pretty easy. And if you're just looking for somewhere quick to get out and take a little hike, this is a spot to do it. Quiet here though. All right, we'll continue on. as we're standing here checking out this little inlet. Guy in a snowmobile goes by. I can smell the, the two-stroke fuel burning off. Reminds me of being a kid. We used to have snowmobiles growing up. Missed that smell. I got this really cool ice cliff here. Check this out. It's a really cool little spot. It's not real big. Very, very cool. And 
relatively quiet. But the nice part is, uh, the the people on the ATVs, uh, the gentleman just passed on a snowmobile, all very polite. It was nice. It's just nice to see people out just enjoying the outdoors and being nice to each other. It's a nice change. All right, we're gonna keep going. We are back at the car. Very short hike. Kind of took our time, but it's gonna do it for the uh, exploration of Corby Pond and the Corby Pond Trail and Staking Lambs 316. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. Where's the last place you found that was a surprise hike? I'd like to know. All right, see you next.